Hello, it is Vanna from Cheap Nails, helping you stay frugal with your next manicure. And in this video, I'm going to be using Blue Cross Cuticle Remover on my toes. Yes, it's going to be another footsies video. I hope you enjoyed my last one, because this one is uh, going to be all about my feet again. This was actually requested. Somebody wanted to know how Blue Cross Cuticle Remover uh, works on your feet, on your toes. So uh, this video is going to explain and answer that question. So let's get started. Let's go to the feet. First things first, we're going to need a tool to help us remove the cuticles from our toes. And here I have a wooden cuticle pusher and then I have a metal cuticle pusher. Now I personally prefer using a metal cuticle for my toes because <laughs> my cuticles, well actually I should call it dead skin, my dead skin gets really thick. So I need something that's a little more, I don't know, kind of uh, stronger I guess. So I will be using my metal cuticle pusher and here's the blue cross cuticle mover, the star of this video. I love using the Blue Cross cuticle remover for my manis and petties because it is such a good cuticle remover and it's pretty easy to find. It's on Amazon for like five bucks. That's where I got my bottle and I'm just going to go ahead and put one drop of it on each of my little toesies. Now I only use one drop. You can use more um, but I just found like this stuff works really good so I just use one drop and then I go ahead and I grab my uh, metal cuticle pusher and I just start gently pushing back my cuticle cuticle. Now, we're not actually removing, I know it's called cuticle remover, but we're not actually removing the cuticle. We're just uh, removing the dead skin and pushing back the cuticle because I don't cut my cuticles at all. I don't, uh, I don't like, like, thinking of that because I think it's kind of scary <laughs> so I don't uh, cut them at all all I do is just push them back and then the white stuff as you can see I know it's kind of gross but the white stuff that you see coming off my nail bud that is the dead skin and that is what you definitely want to remove and this awesome cuticle remover helps you to uh, remove that it softens the dead skin so you can just easily scrape it up and there it is all of that kind of white stuff is just you know the dead skin that's on your nail plate using a cuticle remover to remove the dead skin off your nail bed is always a good idea before you do your pedicure because you do not want that dead skin on there when you're trying to do your pedicure because it just won't look clean and fresh so you definitely want to make sure that you're using a cuticle remover before you do your pedicure because it's just going to make it a lot more professional looking um uh, so yeah so i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on my other little toesies that i did on my big toe it's where I take the cuticle pusher and then I just kind of just push it back I I look like I'm doing it rough here but I'm not trust me you have to be really gentle especially if using a metal uh, cuticle pusher because they're a lot more like rough a wooden one is a lot softer on your nails so if you've never done this before you might want to try a wooden one um, because they're a lot softer on your nails um, but yeah you just want to be gentle and then I flip the metal cuticle pusher around and use the pointy end and kind of get away the dead skin away from my cuticles um, because kind of when you're pushing them back you kind of push the dead skin in there I don't know I just use it and I kind of just kind of uh, get that dead skin out of there but yeah I love this blue cross cuticle remover it does a great job even though it's a liquid uh, you do not actually need that much like I only use one drop um, I guess if my dead skin is really thick I'll maybe use two but Oh my goodness, it gets the, jo gets the job done in one drop. Alright, after I have removed my cuticles, well, I haven't really removed my cuticles, I pushed my cuticles back and removed the dead skin, I'm going to take some vinegar and on a cotton swab, and I'm going to go ahead and just clean my nail bed. I always clean my nail bed after I use the blue cuticle, blue cross cuticle remover, just because it's, you know, it's just dead skin and stuff, so I just went ahead and just clean my nail bed and vinegar is a great cleaner um, for your nails because it also dehydrates them, preps them, get them ready for you know polish or whatever you're doing and then I went ahead and just wiped it off with toilet paper now you don't have to use toilet paper probably the best thing to use is like a lint free disposable cloth but I don't have any of that at the time so I just use my toilet paper and then I'm for finishing touches I'm just gonna grab my OPI natural nails base coat and I'm gonna apply that to my nails I really like using this base coat because I feel like it makes my pedicures last a lot longer so I'll have this 
this one linked down in the description box down below but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my toenails and I think that the blue cross cuticle remover does a great job in removing the dead skin and helping me push back my cuticles because you know I'm not one to cut them um, so this cuticle remover uh, does a great job I definitely definitely recommend trying it out if you're in the market for a cuticle remover because I mean you get six fluid ounces of it when you buy it and it's only like five bucks like that to me that's just such a great deal so yeah I really love this blue cross cuticle remover I think it does a great job removing my uh, cuticles no actually not doesn't actually remove cuticles removes your dead skin and helps you push back the cuticles but it does a great job doing that and it just helps my manicures and my pedicures look great so yeah I definitely uh, suggest using this product Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you in your next pedicure. Please subscribe down below if for some awesome content. And if you have any video suggestions or video ideas, please let me know down in the comment section down below. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!